Good morning and welcome to the weekly Coffee Break. I'm Dave Elliott, President and CEO of the Santa Ana Chamber of Commerce, your host today, as we meet outstanding leaders from Santa Ana and our surrounding Orange County area. Today, it's my pr privilege to have Colette Kaufman from the Ebel Society on the, uh, on the call today. So Colette, welcome, and tell us a little bit about Colette Kaufman. Hi, Dave. It is so great to have some one-on-one -on -one time with you. We're always just seeing each other out at the chamber meetings and things. So I'm really pleased to be able to see you one-on-one. -on -one. Wish we could be together. Well, thank you. It's good to see you. And I love <laughs> the background. Oh, thank you. I'm here in the beautiful courtyard of Ebel today. And this is used for many of our events. And we'll get on to talking about that in a few minutes. Um, well, so I tell us up about you. Yeah, I grew up in um, Fullerton in Orange County. I actually live in the same home I grew up in that was passed passed on down through through the family with some older parents. And I have a wonderful husband of 38 years and we've got a fantastic son as well. Neither of them are in the business at this time. My husband's an architect and my son is a welder and um, started the catering company about 29 years ago and after about 10 years we started hearing I started hearing that you couldn't make it as a caterer 10 successful years you couldn't make it as a caterer unless you had a venue so we took on one historic venue and that was such an overwhelming success when I was introduced to the opportunity for Ebel I went into a relationship with Ebel which took a few years and we are so proud to be the managing event uh, hand of Ebel. Great. Well, tell us a little bit about the Ebel Society. Give us a little history and a little bit about the, the event uh, uh, venue itself. The society itself was founded um, 126 years ago. We just had a big anniversary party last year for the 125th. It's a society with groups in cities all throughout um, the state and I believe possibly even the United States. It's a big group. There are lots of little clubs and big clubs. We are one of the smaller clubs, but definitely not one of the smallest clubs. We are one of the most gorgeous clubs, um, rivaled only, I would say, by Ebel Los Angeles. And um, the society created its meetings and its they created its meetings and all of its drive was for the education and support of women. Um, it continues in that vein and the Ebel ladies for 40 years, they were meeting in their homes and then they saved money and they did fundraisers and they did everything they could. And pretty soon they bought a plot of land and another plot of land and another plot of land. And then they built the Ebel Society Clubhouse. That was 96 years ago. Wow. The society is still up and running as um, an organization for women. Men can now join as well. And we're there to help keep that legacy going. So tell us a little bit about uh, as an event center, which is uh, hugely important uh, in the catering business, like you said, to have uh, a place that's called home that you can uh, host different kinds of events. So tell us just briefly a little bit about the, the types of events that uh, you were able to, uh, to have there at the uh, Ebel Society. Right. Over at the Society, we will do a lot of weddings because the more events we can have with catering at the facility, the more money will come back to the Ebel. Right. Um, so weddings are wonderful. We're able to market those very well. The catering company um, is very well known for weddings and upper end, high end weddings. So we get a lot of new clients and new groups coming on over to take a look at the eBell because of that. We are also doing, at this time particularly, we're doing smaller birthdays, we're doing showers, we're doing things like that where it's a little too big for people to meet in their home. Um, we're also getting into corporate over there. We've had some, we've had the Kiwanis group over there for, oh, I don't know, 20 years. I spoke there a couple of years mm -hmm. ago. Definitely. Yes. 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 We've had some groups. We have some groups like that. They're dark at the moment because of COVID. 
And then the eBell for many years has had a very strong following of theater groups, particularly nonprofit and school theater groups coming on into the location. Those have cut back a little bit with the catering coming in. Um, because, you know, you can't give the theater all every Saturday and still be able to earn money. <laughs> right. I when, that. when an important thing to know is whenever there are events over there, um, uh, the Colette's catering arm um, handles those. We create the food, the beverage, the settings. We assist with any type of vendors that need to come in, um, bar and beverage and all of that, your, all of your meeting arrangements. And the site fees that are collected for those go straight back over to eBell. So that is, it's the continual flow of income to keep this beautiful historic landmark building up and um, getting more beautiful all the time. Awesome. So with COVID, I want to ask this question, with COVID hitting every aspect of our life, the last eight plus months, I'm sure that you've had to deal with the, the COVID-19 pandemic as a business uh, as, it affect, uh, as it has affected uh, the eBell Society. Why don't you share with us maybe one or two things that how it's been affected uh, the, the society and how you've handled that? Absolutely. First, I guess on the financial end, the COVID pandemic, of course, of course put a halt to all meetings, um, all weddings, just tremendous amount of postponements, you know, dollars we had on the books went away. Um, we even release our parking lot to different groups and our parking lot lessees could not pay their full rents even. Thank goodness they stayed in contract and, you know, provided some money. So that's been wonderful. Um, now it was very interesting because the section meetings, which are some wonderful meetings that the ladies do nine or 10 months of the year to have interaction with each other and provide education and camaraderie, the section meetings had to come to a stop. The board meetings had to come to a stop. The general meetings had to come to a stop. And the members who range from about 35 to 100 plus, <laughs> um, <laughs> they are so, they're so wonderful. I just love um, all the members that I have met. But the ladies, they learned how to Zoom. So they learned cool. how to Zoom, you know, and now you can get on a meeting and pretty much within 10 minutes, everybody can get on. <laughs> so great. It's, it's been wonderful. Um, they are, um, have also, they put a donation link on their website. So I do have to say they haven't quite structured how it's going to be used yet, but it is live. It is a donation link. So we're going to be helping them with marketing and they're going to be working on that on their own and some of the theaters that come there to be able to get some donations as well running in coming into eBell. Very cool. So as we kind of wrap up our time together, what's one thing that you'd like our our, our audience to to know about either you or about Evil Society? One of the one additional thing. I think that one additional thing is I'd like them to know just that it's such a unique facility: small spaces, large spaces, beautiful historic um, settings, just gorgeous wood and windows but they don't really have to come and do things on their own. They can just give us a call or swing by. Colette's Catering and Events really provides a one-stop solution for weddings, for social events, corporate, little meetings, big meetings, retreats, theater, any of that. We provide a one-stop solution so they don't need to come in and figure out how to use it themselves. Right. We're gonna help them with all of that and make it very seamless and wonderful, wonderful experience for them. That is awesome. So Colette, if, uh, if anyone in our audience wants to get a hold of you, what's the best way uh, that we can reach out to you? I would go on over to the eBell Club website. Um, we're going to put that up on the screen. That'll be and up on the, the screen. E -Bell, right? Yes, the eBell is located um, on between Mortimer and French Street in Santa Ana, um, just off Civic Center Drive. Um, we'll also put up a Facebook link, a Instagram link, and um, personally, um, I'm Colette at colettesevents.com. 
Awesome. Well, it's been great to have you on the program today. All the best to you and to the Evil Society and, and to your catering arm as well. And thank you very much for being a part of the virtual breakfast, actually not breakfast, coffee break, because we don't have food here. We just have coffee. That's it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thank you.